Since I'm responsible for the data centers, if they move to the cloud, I'm out of a job. So I'm fundamentally <laughs> <close> against it. <laughs> uh, just joking. We're uh, responsible for the private cloud, if we if we could say that internally. Um, and as we look at uh, cloud, as Zach said, the driving force is really cost. It's uh, wherever people need to put their applications. The question is where they're going to get the best value. And um, so the thing that we've uh, uh, focused on in the last we two years is to put a very, very solid chargeback solution in place so that we know where every penny goes, we know what it costs for our SAN, we know what it costs for our compute power, and we work very hard to do this. At that point, our customers can come to us and they can say exactly what is it costing me in your data center, right. and then they can begin to do the comparative analysis. And uh, kind of, there's a tremendous amount of marketing appeal out mm -hmm. there to cloud. I don't know how much of it is real or not, but the, the point is we can tell them, here's what it costs you when you're in our data center, now you have a, a baseline to compare for. Yeah. Well, just getting a, a handle of the cost is something, and are you able to measure energy costs too and, and things like that? Actually, energy costs were, that was one of the easier ones. We've been yeah. measuring that for about two or three years, uh, actually measuring it on a consistent basis. So, yeah, that was one of the easier ones. You just stick a meter on the great big uh, uh, pipe that goes into the data center, and you know what that costs. All the way down to the rack, we don't do that. Uh, we do it all the way to uh, in between the, the uh, power source and the rack, which right. is sufficient for us. We know what the data center itself costs. Right.